Hey guys, welcome to my 21 week pregnancy update. I have so much to fill you guys on, so um, get a snack and sit yourself down because I have a lot of information coming at you this week. Very exciting information coming at you this week. But first, let's focus on baby. So this week, baby is the size of a carrot and not one of those baby carrots. Obviously, it's one of like the full length, like Bugs Bunny carrots that you see. So big. Also this week with baby, the taste buds are now working. Some babies are starting to suck their thumbs now. The fingerprints are now permanent with baby and the eyebrows are now visible. So just like fine tuning things, I think. As for me and how I'm doing, I'm doing okay. Um, this week I've been having a lot of leg cramps. I get them all the time. Just in the very beginning of the morning, it just wakes me up out of a dead sleep and I have these cramps and I have to immediately flex my feet. And sometimes that's not enough and I have to like stand up, like get out of bed and stand up to make them go away. So that's been annoying. I did have a headache like one day last week, so I had to take Tylenol, but other than that, I've still been feeling pretty good. I'd say the biggest thing this week is I've been dealing with like pregnancy insomnia. Last night I woke up um, in the middle of the night at like 3 a.m. because I had to pee. So I went to the bathroom and then I could not fall back asleep. I swear I was up for another like hour to two hours just tossing and turning in bed. I just couldn't sleep. Baby was kicking like crazy and I just had so much on my mind and I couldn't sleep. And so I've been having a couple nights like that where I just, I'm so tired but I can't seem to fall asleep. I have no trouble falling asleep at night but when I am woken up in the middle of the night, whether because of the kids or I have to pee or noise or whatever, I cannot go back to sleep. The other night we had accidentally closed the door and our cat Felix likes to sleep on the end of our bed and so um, he woke me up in the middle of the night because he was crying at our door. So I opened the door to let him in and then I just couldn't go back to sleep. I was just tossing and turning the whole night. So that's been really annoying and I don't really remember dealing with that too much but maybe that's just normal in my previous pregnancies. I really can't remember but it's so annoying <laughs> to deal with. I've definitely been feeling like less energy. I cannot stand up on my feet for too long. My feet get very tired. I get tired, like I have to rest a lot, sit down a lot, take breaks. Um, that's been something. Also, I've been feeling what I wanna say is Brexton Hicks contractions here and there. Like obviously not real, but every so often, like I'll all of a sudden just feel my belly get really tight just for a couple seconds and then it'll go back to normal. And I only get it like once, maybe once every other day or once every few days. But that has been happening. I think I'm not drinking enough water because usually it happens when I'm just sitting. And so it's not like I'm like running around like crazy and exerting a lot of energy. So I think, I don't know, it's just my body getting ready. They say like the more pregnancies you have, the more likely you're um, able to experience Brexit Hicks and the earlier they happen. I guess usually they start happening around week 20, week 21. Um, and like newer moms, like on their first pregnancy might not even feel these contractions, but because I'm on my third, that's probably why I've been feeling them. So that's been fun. Uh, like I said, baby has been kicking a ton. They are very active. Um, way more active than Porter. My second pregnancy with Porter, I was, he was such a lazy baby. He hardly ever got the hiccups, hardly moved at all. This baby kicks all the time, constantly. I don't really feel them when I'm like walking around or like chasing the kids, but if I'm stationary and not moving, I feel baby. And a lot of the kicks are very low, low um, in my, uterus area not so high which I feel like is different because I don't remember feeling so many kicks so low but I don't know I maybe I did and I just can't remember but yes this baby is very active uh, actually it was so cute the other day I was talking I was you know doing my own thing or something and then um, I was talking to Anthony and then 
we ended up standing really close next to each other as we were talking and I swear the baby could like hear Anthony. I, they say the baby can hear by now. And uh, Anthony was talking and the baby was kicking. I swear it was kicking because it heard dad. I don't know, it just, it was the cutest thing. I thought it was so cute. Anthony still has not felt baby yet. Some of the kicks are, I think, forceful enough to feel from the outside, but more often than not, they're not forceful enough and too light. So he has not felt baby yet, but I have felt baby a lot, which is good. It keeps, you know, keeps me sane that I, that the baby's doing okay and inside and everything seems to be all right. I'm still breaking out. It's not as bad. I got a zit like right on the top of my nose. It was just, like the weirdest location. Um, and then I've had some on my face here and there. Not as bad as in the beginning, like my whole face broke out all the time. Um, so instead of the whole face, it's just here and there, but I am still dealing with that, which is not fun. Also, I've been very constipated. Not that people really want to talk about this, but it is it is what it is. It happens in pregnancy, um, so that's been fun to deal with. Not really having cravings other than like meats, really, except like I had turkey the other day because it's like Thanksgiving time. Um, ASB and I hosted, and the turkey really didn't taste that good to me, which is surprising because usually I just really want meat. Um, but then I put the turkey on a sandwich with mayo, and oh, that was so good. So I think I just don't like turkey by itself. But yeah, we got a meat and cheese tray because Anthony and I hosted, like I said. Oh, so good. I ate that like whole meat and cheese tray. I loved it. It was so good. Also, I've been getting these uh, peppermint covered pretzels from Costco, and they're so good because they're salty from the pretzel, but then they also have like the peppermint coating on top of them, so they're sweet and salty at the same time. Oh, I love those. I eat way too many of them. So this week, I had my next doctor's appointment. Um, it actually just happened yesterday. So I had my, well, I think this was be my 20 week ultrasound, but it happened at the 21 week. It was the anatomy scan. So I went and I was so happy I was able to have Anthony come with me. Um, and he's never been to an anatomy scan before. So I was super lucky to have him come since it was the day before Thanksgiving, work was super slow. He works from home, so he just brought his laptop with him and worked here and there. And I was so happy. So my mom came and watched the kids and we went to the appointment. The only bad thing that I don't like about my doctor's office is that they have a location that's five minutes away from me and that's where I go for all my appointments because it's so close. But for the anatomy scan, they only have one location that has the machine to do the anatomy scan and it's 25 minutes away instead of five minutes away. So we had to travel all the way to a different city, which was super annoying, to go have this um, anatomy scan done. And because it was so far away, we didn't budget our time right and we ended up being like 10, 15 minutes late. Um, so I was like rushing to get there. My heart was pounding. I was like, oh my gosh, they're gonna say I have like high blood pressure or something. Um, but we made it there on time and they did the anatomy scan right away, which was so fun. The only sad part about it was the chick was so fast, the nurse was so fast in the anatomy scan. I think it took maybe 15 to 20 minutes. It was just over in the blink of an eye. I mean, she would be like, here's the head, here's where we're here, this is what we're measuring, this is what we're looking at, hey, and here's the leg, and here's the arm, and I was just like, whoa, slow down. <laughs> yeah, you think it'd get old by the time it's your third, but it isn't. Like, I could have just laid there looking at baby for an hour. I wish I could have. I told the nurse, I said, wow, you're very efficient at your job, and she told me she does like 20 to 30 anatomy scans a day, so it's just the same old, same old for her. Um, but it was fun because Anthony was able to see the baby. The baby was moving around. It had like both of its arms up by its face and its legs are just like kicked out, relaxing. It was super cute. <laughs> they actually printed off a whole bunch of pictures. So I'll show you guys some of those. Okay, so here's some of the pictures, like some profile shots of baby. You always gotta get like the creepy skeleton shot. <laughs> Here's like I was saying, like the legs were just like kicked out, relaxing. The baby was like super chill. 
This is like a foot, I think, a foot or a hand. I can't really remember. Um, legs. A creepy skeleton shot again. <laughs> and then I think these are the, the cutest pictures right here. This one and this one are just like profile shots of the baby. Anyway, she got the ultrasound done so fast, but it was really fun to see baby. And that's probably the last ultrasound I'll see of baby until the baby comes out. Kind of sad, but I was thankful that I was able to get that ultrasound done. So it was super fun. And then she asked us if we wanted to know the gender of baby. And we said, yes. Um, and I think it kind of took her back because I think most people are like, oh, I want you to write it in an envelope for me and then I'll look at it later. But we were like, nope, we just want to see like right then and there. Like, I just needed to see for my sanity, like if this was going to be a girl or a boy, if it was a boy, I needed to like give myself a while to just process it because I was really hoping it was a girl. Going into the appointment, I was thinking girl and Anthony was thinking boy. It's really a 50-50 shot, who knows. She went and looked at the potty shot, I think is what they call it, looked between the legs. And uh, I took a little video from our gender reveal, so I will input that here because we are having a... Hopefully these go off. <laughs> I got them out there in the car. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Yeah. I'm scared. Two, one. believe that finally after having two boys we are having a girl it seems like next year is the year of the girl even the ultrasound tech herself was like I had a lot I've been having a lot of girl um, anatomy scans lately and it seems like a lot of people are just having girls next year I am so so relieved so thankful that this baby is a girl I get to buy all the cute girl clothes and the bows it's a little stressful because I have zero girl clothes I have tons of boy clothes, so it's just a totally new journey. I'm just so, so excited. I'll show you the pictures. Okay, so here it is. It's a girl. I guess they're a little harder to see on the anatomy scan because you're really just looking for like two lines instead of like a penis. <laughs> Um, I actually made her look twice <laughs> because I was in shock that like it was actually a girl but it looks like a girl. Baby was being kind of stubborn. Um, she made me roll onto my side actually to get a better look at uh, down there just to double check it was a girl but she was like I'm pretty sure it's a girl. She's like I'm not seeing any boy parts down there and then she found the two lines that I guess are indicative of a girl and so yes we're having a girl. I'm so excited. I just Oh, that just takes such a weight off my shoulders. So we were able to go and do a gender reveal at my parents' house. We shot off our uh, cannons of powder and everybody was so excited. Most people were hoping it was a girl, as was I. Um, I think Anthony was hoping for a girl too. He was just like, well, we've only had boys, so it's just gonna keep being a boy. I was super excited about that. After the anatomy scan, we then met with my doctor because, of course, I don't know if you know, but ultrasound techs can't tell you anything that they see on the anatomy scan. Like, they can show you what they're looking at and tell you what they're looking at, but they can't interpret results for you. So if you were like, oh, does the heart look good? Does it have all the chambers and stuff? She's like, you have to talk to your doctor about it. So we met with my doctor right afterwards, and I was actually kind of nervous because they made us wait, like, several minutes and so I was worried she was like looking over the results and found something wrong but no she came in and was like yep everything looks completely normal <laughs> so it went super fast and I was like okay everything looks great and she said yes and that was really it for the appointment I did my urine sample like usual um, she asked if I had any questions I just told her about how I've been having irregular Braxton Hicks and she said it's normal just try to drink more water and call them if they're like regular but they haven't been 
Uh, but other than that, she said it all looked good. She has no concerns for baby. She said baby was measuring 13 ounces, I think. And it's, she, I guess I should start saying she. She is in the 33rd percentile for weight. So she said no concerns there. Everything's looking good. And yeah, I think everything is good so far. So she said she'll see me in another four weeks. So I just feel like um, everything is great. I'm so happy baby is healthy and I'm so happy baby is a girl. Let me know down below any of your like girl favorite clothing stores or anything like that. Like I just feel like I'm stepping into a whole new world of girl and so I'm so so excited. But anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this vlog because I know it's kind of long but as I told you this is gonna be an exciting one because we know the gender now and so now Anthony and I have to start thinking about names which is going to be hard. At least we have like a whole set of new names to pick from but we still are very picky when it comes to names and so it's gonna take us a while but if you have any name suggestions for us put them down in the comments below something to go along with Grayson and Porter so probably not a G or a P name and Anthony is really big on initials I don't know why our last name starts with a D so Grayson, is, his initials is G-E-D, like what you would get from high school. Porter's is P-H-D, like you get a PhD from college or graduate school or whatever. And so now with this third baby, I'm sure Anthony's gonna wanna do some kind of initials again. I don't really put any thought into initials, but Anthony does. So anyway, if you have any suggestions, please write them in the comments below. But yes, I'm so excited, it is a girl. Yay, yay, yay. I'm so happy. Anthony was like, oh good, now we can stop. And I was like, oh no, we have to keep going. I was like, I'd like another girl so we could have two boys and two girls and then we'll do a tiebreaker. And he was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> One at a time for sure. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this vlog. Make sure to stay tuned for more updates and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.